All right, here's a new one just to uh, show you. I think I've got some of the darkest metallic on my palette. So, face metal. Mixed a bit of the silveryness into it. Pure silver. That gives you the base metal colour. I'll just blast it with a hairdryer to dry. the technical rusty bit. I've got my three colours I showed you. Start with the darkest one. And yeah, you can see what I'm doing with my rush there. So neat out the pot, stabbed this uh, crappy synthetic brush into my dry paint palette and then I just tap So I get a sort of brainy layer and then I splodge it up in some places, splodge it down in some places so it's not just down the middle of the blade. And you get all sorts of weird sort of texture stuff, change the angle if you need to. The, the dent in the blade there, so I'll fill that because that would get more mucky and rusty. Yeah, don't know if that shows up at all but Stabby, stabby, stabby. Uh, this one's quite runny, so I might slightly struggle to do this, but get the worst of it off on a paper towel over there just to dry the brush out a bit. Again, stabby, stabby, stabby. And I've got some skin tone over there as well. You can do the same with a skin tone. So the same thing of just drying it off. This just to show you. So the skin tone is basically just an orange brown. Doesn't really show up in this light, does it? So then just go to my orange. Can you guess what the cunning trick is at this point? Yeah, it's quite wet, I'll just dry that actually. Stabby, 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 stabby. Yeah, I never did the back of this with the other colours. Too much on, pull a bit off with your finger. Rusty blade. 